Daniel Negrano picks up a nice hand. He's got ace queen and he's going to raise it. Comes in for 120,000. But right behind him, Haas has a huge one. Ace king, big slick. A little re raise. And he says re raise. He is coming over the top of Daniel here. And why wouldn't you when you have ace king and Daniel's raising on the button? It was a troubling thought when you think of Haas coming over the top of you. Eight, 350. Well, Vince, it's the first time he's come over the top without moving all in here. He's just going to bet 350,000, but that extra 230 is going to be a pretty good chunk out of Daniel's stack. And JC Tran has folded. Raise. And a re raise here by Daniel Negrano. Okay, I'm going to raise him all in. Well, Daniel's going all in here. Once he called the $230,000 raise, he only had 385,000 left, and he moved in with him. If Gary makes this call, he'll be a substantial favorite to knock Daniel Negrano out of this tournament. I'll call. And Haas is going to call with his king. So Daniel Negrano on the ropes. He was chip leader once at this final table. He is on the verge of elimination here. What are you supposed to do in this game? You had what? Yeah. Oh, he's done it. It's from Ace Queen. Daniel Negrano stands up. He has taken the lead here. Wow. He's an escape artist. He's Houdini. How do you do this? Hit a king. Well, Gary's going to have to catch a king or hit two running cars to make a straight. Here comes the turn card. Well, an eight comes off, so Daniel Negrano must dodge a king at the river. If so, he'll double up and win a monster pot. It's a three. So Daniel Negrano gets a cheer from the crowd as he outdraws. Gary Kaner in this pot.